Welcome to Wawa Mela Channel. Princess Pink Knickers Princess Donabella Petronella Rosebud must have the very latest dress. Not special enough. Princess Donabella shakes her mop of curls thought the two dressmakers had the biggest box full of very special dresses. This one is pretty. The dressmaker holds up a blue dress covered with sparkling stars. Not enough stars. Princess Donabella shakes her head and her crown falls off. And, not enough sparkle. The dressmaker is quick and catches her crown. Flowers. The second dressmaker holds up a dress covered with pink rosebuds. Perfect tiny rosebuds. But not perfect enough for me. Princess Donabella plonks her crown back onto her curly mop, but it falls off again. Princess Donabella looks around the piles of dresses. Haven't you got anything amazing? A dress that nobody in the whole world has got. So special that people will talk about me forever. Donabella, there are so many pretty dresses. I like the one with the rosebuds, you really have to choose for Saturday. The queen plonks down into her chair, fed up. The two dressmakers look at each other. Well, we do have something special, but we are not sure if we can show it to you. Princess Donabella stamps her foot, and her crown falls off again. If it's so special, I want to see it. The dressmakers whisper. But Princess Donabella listens in. Of course I am clever and special. I want to see that dress. Princess Donabella pulls her L wand it now face. Let us explain. The dressmaker looks at the queen, then at Princess Donabella. Only clever and special people can even see this dress. It is made from moonlight and rainbows. A magical dressmaker spent ages and ages making it. We hope he won't be angry if we show it to you. Now. The dressmakers open a box. They carefully and slowly hold up the magical dress. Many not so clever people can't even see it. The silver is from moonlight, and the tiny rainbows sparkle. Can you see it, princess? Are you one of those special people in this world who can see this magical dress? They hold up the dress, and wait and wait and wait for Princess Donabella to say something anything. Of course I can see it. There are rainbows and sparkles all over. It is perfect for me, the very special princess. The queen flops further into her chair, and says nothing. Can you see it too, mama? Are you special? Well, of course I can see it. The queen shakes her head. But I like the rosebud dress. This one might be just a bit too special. Nothing is too special for me. I want to try it, the dressmaker smile. Good idea. We hope it fits. They decide that everything is perfect. For a very special princess. They smile at each other, in a special kind of way. We'll take the rosebud dress, too, the queen tells them. It's always best to have a spare. It might rain, and that magical dress might get spoiled. The queen coughs when they tell her how much the magical dress costs. Magic is very expensive, they tell her. Do you know how hard it is to catch a rainbow? The day of the palace parade comes. Everybody wears their very best. The king wears his best jacket. The queen wears her best dress. And everybody is talking about Princess Donabella's amazing, special, magical dress. It's amazing, I've heard. It's made of rainbows. Only clever people can even see it, so if you aren't very bright, you had better keep quiet. Pity it isn't raining. The queen sighs. They all walk grandly through the streets. There are balloons, and music playing all the way. Is that the special dress everybody is talking about? People are whispering.
but they know the rule, if you can't see it, you just aren't clever enough. But one little girl in the crowd shouts out loud to her mother. Well, the music is so loud, she has to shout. Look mama, the princess is wearing my pink knickers, exactly the very same as mine. Pink knickers. A cry goes all around the crowded street. The princess is wearing pink knickers. Everyone smiles. Yes, and very pretty pink knickers. And they all clap. Princess Donabella sees them all laughing. But she knows they just probably can't see her beautiful dress. And she doesn't need them too, because she can see the dress, and it makes her happy. But she does decide to wear her invisible dress on top of the rosebud dress after that. And also on top of every other dress she ever wears. After all, moonlight, rainbows and magic should be worn every day.